If a furnace is not heating, one of the components you should be troubleshooting is the unit's draft inducer fan motor. While not all furnaces have a draft inducer fan motor, the ones that do use the motor to turn on a blower to exhaust the air from the burner and heat exchanger to the outside of the home. If the draft inducer motor is defective and won't run, the burner will not try to light. To help determine if the motor is at fault, you can use a multimeter to test for voltage reaching the motor. The draft inducer fan motor is normally located in the combustion chamber, close to the venting. To reach it, you will need to uninstall the upper access panel. Be sure to shut off the power supply to the furnace before beginning any disassembly. Once you've accessed the draft inducer motor, disconnect the motor's power input wires. Look for a voltage designation on the motor or in the wiring diagram. Then set the multimeter selection dial to the appropriate volts AC or volts DC setting. Restore the power supply to the furnace and avoid touching any electrical components with your hands. Be aware, you may need to actuate an access panel switch to maintain the power supply. Set the thermostat to call for heating. Then contact the meter leads to the power input wire terminals for the draft inducer motor. If the meter display indicates that voltage is present, then the motor is likely defective and will need to be replaced. If there is no voltage reaching the draft inducer motor, the furnace's control board is probably at fault and a new board will need to be installed.